and giving the fight these these people are people of color, that that definitely gets people's attention, uh, and they feel vulnerable, and they should based on the nature of the incidents, and that they're so sophisticated. So absolutely, and that, that didn't used to be like that, right? Yeah, you know, gentrification has obviously changed the whole landscape here. But I can tell you, the NACP has a complaint on record. We were threatened exactly a week and a half ago by a group, I think out of Waco, and I report to APD who said, frankly, since you don't like Trump, we're going to blow up your office. And they called about five times. I took it very seriously. And there's a, there's a complaint on record with APD. That was less than 10 days ago. So, you know, the, the environment here is, is very, very threatening. Uh, very dangerous and also has a lot of white supremacist groups. That if, if suspicious packages are showing up, we don't want people to touch them. If there's any doubt in someone's mind where they're thinking maybe this is suspicious, maybe it's not, when in doubt, call 911. Talk about these 150 packages that you received, the, the people have reported. Uh, they have found enough uh, to, to be able to believe that there's a link uh, between these three uh, explosions. Uh, but there's nothing yet that uh, I've been told that uh, would indicate what the motive might be or what the link between these individuals might be.